Today I will be showing you my ro you my row code one I made for the class before, and I added something new here. I added a points one with the same code as the score one, so it will run like this. If I click run, then this will move. This will pause it and this will blink and this plays it. This just pauses it, but it won't blink like this one. This will unpause it again, which resets it actually. If you click this star, then the points and score go up the same way. And I will show the codes for these. For the star, it has the one run, repeat infinitely. It waits 0.2 seconds. There's a bring to, bring to front. Another wait 0.2 seconds. Then a bring to back, which will repeat infinitely because it has a repeat infinitely. There's a one run, repeat until, touching mouse pointer. It will bounce if it is on edge. That is what the if on edge bounce does. It will move 10 forward each time. It will wait 0.1 second. And these ones. This is the one for the score. Show variable score value. Which is this, I think? Set score to zero. Which is right now zero. When object clicked, plus to score by one. So it will go up each time you click this. And the points has the same code as the score. The when run, show variable points value. Set points to zero, which is the same thing. All of these are the same thing. When object clicked, when object clicked, plus two points by one. The object is very simple. Or the two entry bot. You could also call it like that. It has a when run. It will repeat infinitely because it has a repeat infinitely. It will wait 0.5 seconds and it will change the next shape. So each 0.5, next, 0.5 seconds it will change the next shape. It also has a when run. It will repeat infinitely with a repeat infinitely. And for two, for 0.2 seconds, move to x10, y0. I don't know why I have to use this, but I'm using it. And I got these by using the add variable and I put the names in here. I will just um, get out of this thing somehow. Um, I will just do that. I used these were the normal ones and then I added these for the star. And, and these two just come from the star as you saw right now, see, in the star, these two right here. I can move these if I want anywhere, same with the points, just, yeah, let me put this there, there, here. This play button. When the object when the object is clicked, it will restart the project, which it will just go back to here and then it will continue going. This one object clicked, it will stop the other object, which is this one. And then you and all of them actually. When and when the object is is clicked it will also repeat infinitely it will wait 0.1 seconds I don't know why this always says seconds it will bring to front 
Then it will wait 0.1 seconds again, and then it will bring to back. And I don't know why this is here. I'll just get rid of that. I And this one. It is just the same as this code, just it does not have this. Oh, it stops all objects. So when the object is clicked, it will stop all of the objects. And I didn't show you the background's code yet. As did you see the background changing? Well, when run, when it is run, or when it is started, it will repeat infinitely. It will wait 0.5 seconds, and it will change to next shape. Because it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different shapes. I don't know why I counted that when I could have just look at, looked at this. But I did count it. And I will just show you it changing. Run. See? Right now it's changing every 0.5 seconds. This is moving a lot, but I don't know why it stopped moving, even though I didn't click it. Wait, do I have a click or... Let me... Oh, it's touching mouse pointer. So it'll just move everywhere until I touch it. And as you can see, it goes up. But I don't know why this code just that is one way you can cheat at playing a game you can just do that <laughs> and just get more points and score and that was my code review this time that is all and i will leave bye